Well, we've been here this morning at the breakfast seminar ahead of the Dubai Sevens this weekend, and uh, we've been talking about rugby in the uh, in the Middle East and the UAE and the role that Sevens has within that rugby program. The situation at the moment here in the UAE is that the game is growing at a great rate, uh, particularly amongst the local population, where we've given them the opportunity. Uh, over the last 18 months to get involved in the game. I think the role that uh, Dubai Sevens plays is huge because it gives the game a great profile. It means that young local players can attend the games, can watch the games on television, can aspire to play there. And I think Sevens is, is a, a, the easy medium in which to, to play and, and to learn the game. Not as complicated as 15s. Uh, even a small school can get 10 or 12 players out to play. So I think for us it's the way that we will grow the game. Yeah, you know, I came here in 1992 and I coached the Kiwi Nomads team before the actual tournament here became fully professional and international. And uh, I've just seen massive changes in the facilities, you know, the, the grounds, the numbers playing the game now, the entertainment it provides, it's just quite, quite huge and uh, the skill sets have improved greatly and uh, where the game has come very, very competitive. Yeah, obviously I've been involved with some coaching here in the UAE over the last couple of days and just seeing the sort of delight on the faces of the Emirati kids has just been fantastic actually and uh, you know these kids are, are new to rugby, they don't really know what it's about but they as soon as they've sort of got a ball in their hands and you make it fun for them and it's competitive, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. They like tackling, they like scoring tries and they like the passing. So these are all skills that are fundamental and it's great exercise as well and it keeps them being fit. I think uh, in 10 years time we will have a, a balance about our 15s and 7s programmes as we have now but I think the look of our of our team will change uh, very much. We'll have a strong Emirati look about our sevens and in fact we may well apply uh, IOC uh, eligibility to our sevens program. I think what we'll, we'll find is that over a number, uh, next number of years that, that teams that have perhaps been unfancied in years gone by they will come and be very very competitive for a number of years and once they get that taste of it that will just spur on a whole new generation of players.